Welcome back. So far in this section on routing, we have treated pages as entirely standalone components. Upon navigation, the existing plus page.svelte component will be destroyed and a new one will take its place. But when we are building applications, it is quite common to have a defined layout for every page in the application. For example, a header at the top and a footer at the bottom. To define layouts in SwellKit, we can create a plus layout.svelte file. Let's understand its usage with an example. For this example, let's try to add a header and a footer to every page in the application. Step one, within the routes folder, we create a plus layout.svelte file. For the HTML, we add a special slot self-closing tag. By default, this right here is the layout for a SwellKit application. Any individual page we define in the routes folder is rendered in place of this slot tag. If you navigate to home page, the home page HTML replaces the slot tag. Navigate to block page, the block page HTML replaces the slot tag, which means to add a header and footer in our layout, all we have to do is add a header to the top of the slot and a footer at the bottom. Let me also add some styling by adding two classes. This is layout header and this is layout footer. For the styles, we add a style section and I'm going to copy paste the styles for the two classes. So for the styles, we have a background color, a font color, font size, text align center, and padding of 10 pixels. It is completely fine if it doesn't look great because styling is not our focus in this video. If we now head back to the browser, you can see we have our header at the top and footer at the bottom. In between, we have the home page component. Navigate to blog page and we still have that same layout. Slash products and the layout is still present. By defining a single layout.svelte file in the routes folder, we are able to create a layout for every page in our application. We can add whatever markup, styles, and behavior we want to, but the only requirement is that the component includes a slot tag to render the page content. Now what you should also know is that layouts can be nested. Suppose we want a layout for every product details page. Well, in that case, we can create a layout.svelte file within the product details folder. So within product ID, create a new layout.svelte file. Once again, we start with a slot tag as that is mandatory. In this scenario, slot will correspond to the product ID page. Now I'm going to add a simple h3 tag that says featured products. You can imagine a carousel of featured products being displayed below this heading. If we head back to the browser and navigate to the root, we see the root layout, but not the product ID layout. Navigate to slash products, and we still see the same behavior. We have the root layout, but not the product ID layout. Navigate to product one, and we see featured products. Go back and navigate to product two, we see featured products once again. The same holds good for even product 100. This is part of our newly created product ID layout. In this way, we can create layouts that apply only to certain areas of your application. 
Hopefully, it's now clear how to define layouts in Sveltget. Now, there is still a lot more to cover about layouts, so let's continue. I'll see you in the next one.